here. Hmm? Your people never allowed me to get to know you and appreciate you. They made me despise you every inch of the way because of the cruelty they inflicted on my daughter. Such unimaginable savagery. Ask her, she's sitting by your side. Dad, that's not necessary now. Don't tell me what is necessary, daughter. Don't. Honey, just listen to her. No, there's nothing to listen to. We came here for a didn't we? Yes. Good. But what you're saying is not going to reconcile. Mm -hmm. It will only tear George and his family apart. Listen, Edna. George requires to know the truth. Do you know that on the night your wife had a baby, that she drove herself to the hospital at 1 a.m.? Your stepmother was aware of this. Your stepsister, they never assisted her at all. But they were expecting her to die in the hospital. But that's not all. Your son spent two weeks in the hospital. Your stepmother, your stepsister, none of them went to visit Adora and commiserate with her. Dad. That goes to tell you the nature of the people you refer to as Dad. family. Dad, Christian was with us all through the day, Crown mm -hmm. With Adora. What about what that is? Mm -hmm. I mean, what about the days before he died? Was he there? With Look, there are many things that happen in your absence, but I don't want to spoil your appetite. Let's just eat. about to find out. Is it true that you were calling my wife as prostitutes and you Linda? You have to take it easy. This will not solve anything. Son, you've got to calm down. Let's talk about this. Don't you freaking ask me to calm down. Answer my question. Were you ever referring to my wife as a prostitute, a whore, floozy, or whatever word you used against her? My love, your mother and I had a misunderstanding, but it wasn't anything serious. I mean, we just... Don't you dare lie to him, you psychophant. Yes, son. Yes. I did call her a fusey. And that's exactly what her behaviors within these spices are proving her to be. How dare you? How won't I dare, young woman? Oh, you didn't tell him. Oh, you didn't tell him about those mirrors of men that come in here looking for you. Men? What men? It's true, isn't it? Will you shut up your mouth before I do it for you? Listen, George. Whatever you hear from this two cannot be anything but a grand conspiracy to conceal the despicable things they did against your wife and crown. Christian! Don't Christian me, mom. Let me speak the truth. Look, we have to trash this here and now. There's always a day of reckoning, you know? And I want today to be your own day of reckoning. A day you will prove the kind of love you have for George as a son. When his son was admitted in the hospital for two weeks. Two weeks, mom. And you sat down here complacently without even bothering to visit him once until he died. Christian, you don't speak those things against me, your mother. What? I don't speak the truth? Wait, is that what you want from me as a son? That I don't speak the truth as it concerns your misdeeds? No, mom. No. I think I'm, I'm beginning to get a clear picture of who I am in this family. Yes. Upstairs. Sing upstairs. Thank you. 
you had better have a rethink. If you think you can rip off this family apart, the history of its peace and union is way beyond what you can destroy. Do you hear me? I had a dog back. I wonder, was that you? What's this day? Myself, a dog? And you merely watch her leave, Linda. Oh, please, there are bigger issues to talk about rather than what you and that are talking about. What? No, it has not. Of course it has. It has. See, and don't you dare tell me it has no, when I freaking know it has. Why, why, why am I always the one putting my life online, paying the price for peace in this family? Why? Why is it like this? I put in patience. I put in silence, even when I'm supposed to be vocal. I slave my life out all for the good of everybody. And what do I get in return? You turn it around and throw it to me. Listen, listen, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you are angry. And of course you have every right to be. But it would be so unfair of you to, to categorize me in that case that I don't care any longer. I don't care any longer. See, I've had it to this place. And I, 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 I feel like throwing up. George, listen, you're my brother. We can always work things out. Two months. Two months. Unless you want to join us. Unless you want to join us. This is serious. Mom, I had no problem with the kid. To think that I earlier planned to go see him in the hospital, but you, you have a way of scheming people out of their planned activities. Will you shut up, you silly little girl? I don't want your hand from your pocket. You are talking to me. Look who is talking about scheming. Where you can hardly differentiate your left from your right. Oh. It's funny you should mention different shades. Because, Mom, I remember that night vividly. That night, Ada was in labor. I wanted to help her. But no, you pulled me back. I said, keep quiet. Chris, I better not hear about this. You and this little brother. What? Mommy, be quiet. No. No, Mom, leave her alone. One more word from you, and God bear me witness if you don't get to bed right away in the emergency ward of any nearby hospital. And you call me a bastard. Listen, this little girl talk to me. There is nothing to talk about. There is absolutely nothing to talk about. You just get ready. Pack your things and be ready to leave this house between now and the next two months, both of you. You've got to be kidding me, right? Yeah, right. Fine. I am kidding you. For now I am. But in the next two months, I wouldn't be. saying all those things before my husband. Did anything go wrong? Answer my question, Dad. Are you out of your mind? You walk into this place even without greeting your father, you begin to query him so rudely? Are you mad? Honey, honey, please come. I will not, Dad, until you answer my question. Oh, no. oh yes, mother. 
George has asked his family to leave, and it's all on me! And that's what they deserve. Every one of them. Excuse me. Did you hear him? Did you hear what he said? That is what they deserve? It's okay, you know your father can be, can be impossible at that. He ruins my marriage and he says that's what they deserve? God, I didn't know that was what happened. But I don't really did not do it well at all. Why did you have to confront your father like that? I'm tired. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of his ways. I'm tired of his controlling attitude. I'm tired of his rules. I'm sick and tired of him getting involved in my life, mother. He has to leave me alone. I can't handle it. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's okay. I can't handle it myself. It's okay. He has to get away from my life. But he has to get away. I'm sorry. I didn't know that was what happened. <sighs> Edna, where are you off to? You heard me, didn't you? I said, where are you off to? To the war base. For what? For what? To rebuild what you destroyed last night. Edna, come back here. Come back here! This woman always forgets that I pay the rent in this house. Come on, please. Please, don't dare me. I forbid you from going to George's house to discuss the merits and the demerits of the treatment he gave to that savage, cruel, tamagant woman. Please. Dad, what do you want? Why do you always want to be in control of other people's lives? No, you are wrong there. Because you are so naive to look after yourself, I have decided to look after you. Besides, that woman punished you so much, you know that. You have made me go through so much more, Dad. Leave her for me to worry about. Why can't you set people free to live their lives and make their decisions by themselves? Make decisions and be liable for those decisions. What do you want, Dad? You want to act like you care? You want to act like you care so much? That has always been your style. That is exactly what you did to Victor until he lost it. Leads his life to violent crimes all in a bid to be free from you. You realize what you're saying? Yes, Dad. I am telling you what nobody in this house is bold enough to tell you. That what happened to Victor is and will always be your fault. I don't know your father is like Oh, let him be, Mother. Let him be. He has to be made to realize the consequences of his actions. Victor, your first son, killed himself because he wanted to be free from you. Now I ask you, Father, is that what you want to have me do? Laura, you are saying this. Edna? Honey, don't mind her. You'd better mind me, Mother. Because the earlier you begin to mind me, the better. Unless, of course, you're ready to lose another child, all in a quest to be free from your entanglements. Worst and most unfair judgment that has ever been passed on me. You're talking about Victor, my son. Victor, that I give every part of my life to ensure that... Honey? That Victor... Adora, you have hurt me a lot. Honey? You have hurt me a lot. Are you okay? What's happening to you? Uh, uh, let me be a doctor. Let me be a doctor. Please. What happened to that? I mean, Mom called me. What happened? Mom, what happened? The doctor is attending to him at the intensive care unit. Mom, please. What exactly happened to him? I don't know what came over your sister. What? You're going to blame me over this now? Just keep quiet. Can someone please talk to me? She went all the way. Raving and ranting that it was for his quest for freedom from your dad. That Victor went into crime and subsequently got 
killed. Jesus Christ. You said all that to him, sis? Yes, I did. I did because that is the truth. It's not the truth for goodness sake. Sis, can't we just start being fair for once? Enough, both of you. This is a public place. That's an unfair and cruel thing for you to have said to that. After all he has been through, trying to get Victor out. Sis, his company all Shut up! Shut up, you idiot! The Victor we're talking about here is my first child ever. And let nobody, let nobody remind me of what took me an age to put behind me. Please. Relaxed here. Where did you go? I had to go and get airtime so I could inform George. You should have told somebody you got us all worried. I'm sorry. I never intended to. How is he? He's still there. He has not spoken a word yet. Dad, I'm really sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. Adora, don't start. I swear, I swear, I never meant to hurt him, I never meant to. Dixon, pull her off. For what, mom? I love her. I'm not saying she shouldn't apologize, but look at the man she's talking to. He doesn't even know we're here. I do. He said something. Dad. Dad. Can, can you hear us? I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry. The way you spoke to me nearly shut up my heart. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going insane. I'm going crazy. No, sweetheart, you're not. You're fine. I am, no. I am. It's I am. Okay. Reason is here now. I'm so sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Put yourself to the market. Don't put yourself to the I have entered Coming out is not an easy task mm -hmm. I am turning Lord, between two worlds I don't know where to start George I thank you for your support you're welcome, sir. Fair. Mm. I'm so far from where I know I should have been. Mm. I'm incomplete. My emotions have failed me again. Oh. Am I all alone? Am I all alone? Can somebody out there hear me cry? Is anybody home? Am I on my own? Can someone be... Daddy. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I never intended to. I promise. I promise never to hurt you again. I swear. You don't have to say that. I swear by my life. Mm -mm. You don't have to say that. You don't have to swear. Everything I did, I thought I was doing in your own interest. I never intended to hurt you. You see, there is more to life than just living. And this is why 
when Victor came along. Victor. Daddy, it's okay. All right. I'm taking it easy. But remember, darling, the race for heaven must be sustained. Daddy, you have to take things easy. We don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. We've lost too many people already. It's all right. It's okay, you see. I did my best for you. When Victor came and blew everything and that's why I'm not so happy with him. Daddy, mm. we love you. And we appreciate the way you brought us up in a Christian way. I'm sorry about all my mistakes. The pregnancy, the marriage. You see, darling, we're all human. And we make our mistakes. Uh, it's all in the past now. Hmm? Uh, I know that George must be extremely lonely. Why don't you go and join him? He's with mom. Yes, he may be with mom, but it's not mom that he married. It was you he uh, took away. And, um, you know, I offered him an opportunity to meet a priest and confess his sins, but he, he rebuffed the idea and finally wasted his life, but it's okay. You can go and meet George. George is lonely. He's waiting for you. She wouldn't be needing anything? Um, I don't think so. Um, I just want to be left alone, so I see if I can uh, catch some sleep. Because I'm really tired. Okay, Dad. Good night, Daddy. It's all right. Good night. And then tell George I'm saying good night. Uh, have a good time, but I just sincerely hope that both of you don't stay out late. We promise. All right. I love you. And I love you too. It's all right. Now you can go out there and enjoy George. I think he's quite lonely. I also decided uh, the wedding will be taking place in a few months' time. George, I hope you're not under any kind of tension. You don't need to please anyone, you know. Oh, no, Mom. It's not about pleasing anybody. It's a personal decision. As long as it will not rouse more tension. More no tension? No way. Because I've also decided the wedding will be taking place in your church. Are you serious? What's that? You're having your wedding in a church? <laughs> Who said that? I'm so sorry I hadn't told you earlier. That's splendid. Yes, I think it is. Go and inform your father. It will help his recovery. No, no, mom. He is sleeping right now. We'll tell him tomorrow. Besides, he doesn't want us to stay out late. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I'm almost true. I think mom has something to tell me. No, I'm done. I just want you to reconsider your stance. Think about it. They are still your family. I'll think about it. Think? Do what you're told, silly. <coughs> are you okay? Oh. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll handle it.
I should be now. What are you saying? Mom. Hello, baby. You on the phone? Oh, yes, I'm with my mother. My mother? Okay, uh, I'll be outside then. Sure, sure. Mom? Yes, yes. Mother, please, can you possibly relax? I still have a grip on my system. Please. It looks like mom could swear about my wife's infidelity, don't you think? Look, Judge, if this is all about mom says about your wife, then I think you should disregard it and focus your mind on more important things. Oh, really? Yeah. Chris. Yeah? Have you been sleeping with my wife? Judge. Answer the damn question because you heard me. No, for Christ's sake. Hey, why would you even think that in the first place? Because I don't understand why you should go out of your way to defend her. Even when it's becoming obvious and glaring. So I figured it out that probably you guys have been scratching each other's brain behind me. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. I mean, this is not right. Okay, I I, I might not understand what you mean by becoming so glaring, but. Hey, George, it's absurd for you to think that I would be involved with your wife behind you. What do you take me for? Well, I'm sorry if that threw you the bad light, but something is not right. I mean, something is not clear. <sighs> with what? My wife. How do you mean? I think my wife is pregnant. Yes. Yes, the result available to me here, yeah, madam. Shows that you are pregnant. Two weeks. There's your copy.
Mom, how do I handle this? I don't really know. I don't know right now, but you really have to calm down and remain stable until we're able to figure out how to handle it. Yeah. How's that? He's there. You know him, don't you? Who? The father. Now. Ah, no, <laughs> Let, me Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Abigail. Yes, mom. Go in and fix something for him. Right. Oh, mom, I'm okay. I just had lunch. Are you sure? Yes, just had lunch, and uh, I just came to tell you that my Canada visa is out, and I'm leaving tomorrow. I thought you gave up uh, this Canada trip a long time ago. Yes, I did, but some reasons came up, and I, and I had to pursue it again. And you're just telling me. What is wrong with you, Joel? Why do you like to detach yourself away from us? Mom, please. Let's not go down this road, please. So, brother, are you telling us that you're traveling tomorrow? All I want to ask you is, if there's any way offended you, let me know. And I'll ask you for forgiveness. Mom, you didn't do anything wrong. And there's nothing to forgive. Mom, just know that you are the best mother a son can have. If I'm the best mother, so why do you stay away from me? Mama, please, not again. Not again, please. Please, smile. Remember that song I used to sing for you? Pretty woman, put a smile on your face. Pretty woman, come on! <laughs> You're such a blessed son. Uh. Look, are you sure you don't want to eat anything? I made a very nice porridge, and I know you like it. Uh, Abigail, yes, ma'am. Just go in and get him a little portion of that porridge, okay? Yeah. Just go. Bro, should I? Yeah, you heard what your mother said, yes. Mother said I should get out of here. Said, go. All right. I've been eating it for how many years now? Eating it one more time would make a difference, would it? No. Mm. I'm gonna miss you very much. Mm. to the point when I have to deal with it with all disgust or stigma? Spit in the face? Please calm down and let me explain. Don't you tell me to calm down! Don't you! Damn bitch! Please. Oh, 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 what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? My, 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 my stepmom calls you. What's that? Floozy. Oh, exactly! That's what you are! Floozy! You think you can lie to me? By telling me you're going to see your parents going to go to hospital? That's not what I was doing. I never ever intended to hurt you. I swear. Oh, exactly. Now I know you are playing to it, right? I mean, like, it will get to a point when it will look like I'm responsible, no, isn't it? That's not what I was doing. I gave you enough time. I gave you enough time to come to terms with your fleets. And tell me about it. But you wouldn't. No wonder my stepmom is so obsessed with the idea that you're promiscuous. No! 
Baby, if you hadn't gone on that journey, all this wouldn't have happened. Oh, shut up your mouth before I slap you, you damn bitch. Cheap sluts. What did you call me? Exactly what you are. Sluts. Just see who it is. Who did let them open the gate for at this time of the night? Huh? I can't see anything from here. Dixon, okay. find out who that is. I hope the person identified himself or herself. There must be. So how is she? Mm, it's gone to bed. And you? Well, waiting to be briefed on all this late night drama. Sweetheart, let's just catch some sleep. Mm. Listen to me, Edna. Don't fob me off because I will not take it this time. Suddenly my daughter packs all her things and comes back to the house late in the night and you're telling me let's go to bed? Tell me what is wrong with my daughter, quickly. Honey, it, it's, it's not like I don't want to tell you. It's just that... If you don't tell me, I will go there and find out myself. What is wrong with my daughter? She... She's pregnant. George found out and... Um, Threw her out of the house. my boxes? Yes, I've put them inside. Oh. Brother, are you going out? 
No, 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 no. I just need to speak to somebody in private. Good day, man. Um, I come with me. I mean, I, I didn't mean for you to come here. I meant I was going to be at your place to discuss something with you. No, no, it, it's okay. I don't think it's a problem. I was in a neighborhood visiting, and I just thought I'd stop by and see what you wanted to chat about. I mean, besides, I don't have so much time. What do you mean you haven't got so much time? I'm traveling tonight to Canada. Is there a problem? No, no, I mean... Yes. Joel, I... I mean, I, I honestly don't want you to misunderstand. It's okay. Tell me what it is. I actually... I'm pregnant. I'm honestly sorry. I don't intend to intrude in your affairs or disrupt wait, wait. your movement. I mean, I... What, what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> You're pregnant? Yes, but it's not... <laughs> that's good news. That's, that's, that's good news. Can I, can I sit here? Yeah. I don't think it's, it's not a problem. Why should it be a problem? I'm off. What's, what is going on here? Why are all these excitement? What is wrong? There is nothing wrong. Why did you cancel your trip? No, there's nothing wrong. Why can't it be what is right? Let's just be positive a little bit. Like, Joel, what is right? You know? <laughs> Mom, there's nothing wrong. All the, yeah, give me glass, give me glass, give me glass. Come on. Yeah. What are the glasses all about? Mom, all this excitement will be over in three minutes. The suspense, everything. Give me those glasses! Right. You see? The way it's going. <laughs> this is for mom, that's for me, and that's for you. There we go. Oops. I'll fall on my second. That's. I should hold it like this. Yes, hold it like that. <laughs> and that's yours, my little sister. Let me top up. So now, let's drink to the latest and happiest expectant father on earth. That's ah! me! Oh, ah! Bro, I'm so happy for you. you. Is that for real? It's for real. It's for real. Come on, drink up, drink up, drink up. Mm. Mom, Mom, come on, drink. Mom, why aren't you happy? Happy? Is it because I'm not screaming and uh, jumping like both of you? Joel, I am a woman. Not until I know who the expectant mother is. You just sure know how to spoil the moment. This is my moment of happiness. Come on. Come on, please. Okay, I'll tell you. 
I'll tell you who the mother is. Just drink to fatherhood. Come on, mom, drink. I'm gonna drink now. Pretty woman, put a smile on your face. Pretty, come on. Yeah, I'm Pretty woman. With this. <laughs> come on, drink. Mmm. <laughs> George, I'm sincerely sorry for what has happened. Um, coming at a time when we have all decided to uh, bury the past and look optimistically through the future. Um, I was shocked and disappointed when I heard the story. And I just said to myself, why now? But again, this is to tell you that life itself is very unpredictable and once we are here, whatever we see, we accept as part of life's experience. I tell you something, George, if I were in your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. You know, women are very unpredictable. I remember one of the novels I read in the secondary school by Peter Cheney that says, you never know with women, and really, you never know with women. I never expected that this would turn out like this, but uh, it has happened the way it is, and I'd like you to forgive her and forge ahead with your life. And one more thing, irrespective of what may have happened, this family still loves you a lot. And um, you are welcome to this family. Don't let this development mar the relationship between you and us. Just remember that no matter what happens, you can always count on our love and support. Have some brandy. Thank you very much, sir, for this exalting speech. In it, I have found joy where I am sad, and strength where I am weak. I have decided wholly to forge ahead with my life, especially now that our divorce has been officially pronounced. I want to thank Ada for understanding and submitting to the idea. And to you, I want to thank you in a special way for your wonderful support and encouragement. You are indeed a father. As per this family, it is my family. It is my home, irrespective of what has happened. And so shall it remain with God helping me. Thank you, George. Thank you very much, George. Good. You talk like a man. Why don't you have some brandy? Come on. Mommy. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Please, sir. Can I see her? Oh, come on. I mean, with all pleasure. Um, Dixon. and I came to see him so I said I couldn't go without popping in to say hi hi thank you I actually actually want to thank you for not opposing to the divorce suit why should I that's what you wanted what can I do it was necessary wasn't it George suit yourself 
Well, I... I'll be traveling back to Spain to start a new life over there. And I felt I should tell you. That's very good. I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Right. You... You're going to be all right? Yeah, sure. Very fine. I should be going then. Yeah. So my name is Joel Obi and I'm into advertising and marketing by profession. I hail from Oka in Anambra State. I see. Are you a Christian son? Yes, sir. Very much so. I'm a Catholic by denomination. Why didn't you think about the Sixth Commandment when you were ravishing my daughter? There he goes again. Or repentantly. Joseph, please. When are you going to change? When are you going to stop insulting me before my visitors? Now you want to embarrass me before my husband to be? Adora, shut up. Just shut up. It's all right. She can go ahead and insult me. She's been taking liberties lately, so uh, there's nothing to worry about actually. But I just wanted to bear one thing in mind, Adora. For the part of the Bible, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother that the days may be long. My mother and my father must learn how to stop dishonoring me before my visitors. Adora, one more word from you, I'm going to slap you. What slap could be worse than this unbridled humiliation from dad all the time? Shut! You pointed at me. Sweetheart, please disregard that. Adora, you pointed at me. Get down on your knees and tell me that you're sorry. I will not. One more time, Adora, I said, get down on your knees and ask me to forgive you. Adora, kneel down. Do as you say. I will not. I will not Sorry. allow him to insult me. Good. All right. Let me just tell you a suitor that any girl that has no respect for her father or her mother can hardly honor her husband. I'm sorry for you, Adora. I'm really sorry for you. Honey? Adora, look at what you are doing! Honey! 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 Oh, Jesus! Honey! Call the doctor! Call the doctor! Call the doctor! Honey! Honey! So I see this morning. Yeah. Prof, I hope this is no stroke. Not at all. It's still the same cardiac failure. Oh, but actually what happened? He'll never let me be. He'll never let me be. He treats me with disdain all the time. Regards me with so much levity. And then at my slightest reaction, he falls into a seizure. And then what? It's my fault. I'm the offender. I'm the offender. <sighs> Baby, I told you to speak less. He's going to be fine. Will he? Yes. I can assure you, he just had a minor nervous relapse, that's all. He's already had a first heart attack. It's okay. What did he say happened to him? You know, if you, you could sometimes hold on to your anger and don't go busting out on him, maybe we might never get back here. That is, if we get to live here in one piece. What happened? What happened to him? He's had yet another crisis. And from the look of things, all doesn't seem well. 
How are you doing? How is he doing? He's much better now. Much better. I wonder if it was appropriate for us come, to come visiting at this time. But Ada said he called, asking them to come over. I don't know what you think about that. Actually, he insisted on seeing them, and um, knowing my husband, you cannot dissuade him. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. I'm trying. Hmm? By the grace of God, I'm getting better. What about you? How are you doing? How do you do, sir? Beautiful. Hmm? Good day, sir. Mm -hmm. I am Mrs. Obi. I am Joel's mother. Mm, very thoughtful of you to come. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Thank you. Yeah, Madara, how are you doing? I'm fine. But you're looking good. Mm. Edna. Yes, dear. Please. Get a visit us some cool or not. Sure. Excuse me. So how is your head, sir? Well, by the grace of God, I think I'm getting better. And um, Edna has been taking wonderful care of me. Thank God. Mm. Mm. Why are you letting this weigh you down? I think you should rather be rejoicing. Your father is fine. Rejoicing? Over what? When my father lies ill on my account? Don't talk like this. Why are you talking like this? It's still my making. I mean, it's still my making. You don't have to make me feel better. I just shouldn't have. I... Do you remember when he spoke to us? He told us he said you should not blame yourself. That he's going to be fine. Is he fine? I mean, Joel, no matter what he must have done to me in the past, I don't think he deserved it. He just doesn't deserve it. You'll be all right. I wish I could make him understand that I'm sorry and that I'll never, ever hurt him again. I swear by my life. Sweetie, so you don't have to swear about anything. You don't have to. You'll be fine. What we need to do is to concentrate on our future plans, our wedding, you're pregnant. Don't let these things weigh you down. Okay? okay. You'll be fine. Hello. Hi, darling. You're still up? Yes, I am. You know, sometimes I wish this weak heart of mine would give me a break. So people will stop worrying about me. We are not complaining. Wonderful people, ain't you? Lovely father. You know, sometimes when I think about our daughter, I say to myself, I must have caused her so much pain. So much pain. And, and that was because I never saw things her own way. Or, or, or did I? It is fine now. Forget ye the things of the past and yeah. remember them no more. Well, I am doing a new thing in your life. I make a river for you in the desert. And he makes a way for us? Where yeah, there, there is, is no, no way. way. <laughs> mm. You know, I always wanted the best for our daughter. Well, everything is okay now. You, you did the best you could for her by blessing her marriage, and I'm so grateful. I don't know. I, I think I pushed her daughter too hard. I pushed her so hard. But that was purely because of my own ignorance. Sweetheart, you did what you think and felt was the best for her. You don't need to regret anything, because everything was done in good faith. 
Thank you very much. And uh, sometimes I say to myself, where could I have been without you? <laughs> <laughs> You have my pillow. Wakey, wakey! Good morning, sleepyhead. So I have to tell you that where I come from, my mother serves my father meals, not the other way around. Well, in our world, I will serve you breakfast. This is love practice. Why would I want you to be bothered about house chores when you're pregnant with my baby? I honestly shouldn't let you do that. It's all right. There we go. You need to prepare breakfast. I won't let you do this. No, you're not going anywhere. Oh. Come on, come on. No, not at all. And uh, I, I, I'm just wondering. Honestly, doctor, I didn't think it was anything serious because the pain wasn't constant. How can you not think it is something serious? You're pregnant. Huh? A pregnancy up to five months? Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm sure your pregnancy is well above 28 weeks. I, I, am I not correct? Yes, doctor, you're correct. Please, you have to be careful. I will just say. Uh, Prefer you for an ultrasound. Okay? should talk to me. Whatever the problem is, I promise you that together we shall find a solution to it. Joel? Yes, ma'am. Talk to me now. Baby. Oh, honey. Still up? I just have to. Oh, honey. You need not wait up for me before you could have dinner. I don't feel like having dinner. I'm not, I'm not hungry. Where's my daughter? Oh, fine. Splendid. She's very well. She was barely having a slight contraction. But I made sure the doctor put it under control. Is the contraction premature? Yes. But it has been controlled. Honey, you don't need to think about it. She's fine. All right, get her on the phone. I want to speak with her. Honey, but she's okay. She's very well now. I just feel like speaking with her. Get her on the phone. Honey, I don't want you to think about this. She's well. She's okay. If not, I wouldn't have come back. I want to speak with her. Getting pregnant for that lot, George or whatever you call his name, is a solution because it's not. What would you have me do, mother? Stay in your house with a pregnancy out of wedlock? Holy night? Lady of the church? Shut up! 
do not think that I don't have a solution to it. Because of getting rid of that baby, whether you like it or not. How dare you suggest abortion in my house, Lady of St. John? What do you want me to do? Listen to me, abortion is not even an option. Abortion is a sin against God and a crime against humanity. Abortion is murder. She will have that child. And I will live with the stigma? She will have the baby. No, no, I can't. I won't. What? I cannot have an abortion. It will kill my father. Sweetie, what are you saying? Can't you see? Can't you see the way my father looks? Can't you see the hell I've put him through? No, you did not. My father never used to be hypertensive. I led him to it. Sweetie, you don't need to talk like don't this. Don't patronize me. Uh, hello, Anna. Is that you? Yes, Daddy. Are you alright? I'm fine, Daddy. I'm just worried about you. Honey, please, uh, let me remind her of something. Let me talk with my daughter, please. Dad. There's something I want to tell you. Come on, feel free to talk to me, my daughter. Go on. Dad, I know this might sound really strange. You might not believe me, but I really feel like I should tell you and let it be something I've done against all the odds. Dad, I love you. I love you so much. I'm sorry about all the pains I caused you. I'm sorry about all the traumas I put you through. I love you so much, Dad. I promise I'll never hurt you again. Oh, come on. You don't have to say that. You don't. I swear by my life. I love you. I love you so much. My dad. Is Ada all right? Yes, she's fine. Very fine. <sighs> Take me to her. This night? No. Ada, I just want you to understand the import of this problem of yours. By ectopic pregnancy, it means that your baby is not growing inside your womb. It is growing outside your womb. And the baby will grow and draw its blood from wherever region it is implanted. I don't know that is dangerous. Because it can rupture that organ where it is implanted. It is only the womb that was designed to expand while the baby grows. My dear, that is the rescue stand. Mother, everything in life is a risk. Even the abortion is a risk. I want all of you to trust God with me that everything will be fine. Adora, this is a precarious situation. Mother, please, nothing is going to happen. I want you all to just sit still and watch God perform miracles. Adora, I don't know why you children want me to watch you all go. What you're doing is not fair. It's not just fair, Adora. Your sister died from the same bout of labor. Remember that she died in my arms, Adora. Before my eyes, she died. The second was your brother. He committed suicide. Suicide, Adora. And now you want me to just watch you go to... Mother, nobody is going anywhere. Please. I don't want to have an abortion because dad is against it. I don't want to hurt him again. Besides, we've lost too many people already. Don't forget that crown died in my arms. Please try. No, mother, I can't. Please. No, mother, I don't want to lose my father. Who says your father is going to know? We will not tell him until he's done. Adora, please. Please have pity on me. Look at your husband. Look at how distraught he has made to be adored. Just look at him. Yeah. I love you more. 
please listen to your mother. Please. Thank well, uh, so far, madam, you have uh, shown little or no evidence of uh, rupture. Because you are hemodynamically stable, that's good. Your beta HCG level has shown considerable signs of decline. These are the factors we consider before advising for a manageable tuba pregnancy. But I'll be quick to assert that uh, these factors only reduces the risk by about 30%. My God is alive. But doctor, 30% is not good enough. Well, I might have to agree with you, madam. But, uh, you know, the decision is yours to make. I'm only here to follow your plans. Doctor, there is no point. We are continuing with the initial option. There's a point, mother. I'll give this a trial. And if anything happens during the process, it's God's wish. No, Adora. That's not how the will of God works. The word of God says, Above all the graces you've received, make efforts. So Today you have a chance to live. Don't throw it away. So going in for an abortion is making an effort? Excuse me, excuse me. Madam, 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 Madam. <sighs> the decision we are considering here is not one that should be made in haste. No, doctor, the whole thing is so absurd. Tell her! I have, I've absorbed my dear harsh word for that, but in being altruistic, Ada, I will advise that you candidly explore all the options available. The option of a DNC, the option of uh, managing the pregnancy till childbirth. Please explore them, but be sensitive, okay? Then consult with the people that love you, the people that you love, the people that care for you, such as your mother here. She's so concerned, and your husband, so that all of you can put heads together and come up with a good reason. A reason that will be informed of prudence and not absolute foolhardy. This is ectopic pregnancy we are talking about here. I am the doctor and it's my professional opinion that you should please be sensitive in whatever decision you make. Doctor, my God is alive. Thank you very much. Adora, please, hearken to the voice of your loved ones. Your mother and I truly understand how you feel. And we know that no mother will hurt her child. So please, reconsider your decision. Oh? Why do you say that? Adora, please, be reasonable. You're in a life-threatening situation. And so is every pregnant woman. No! Your case is a peculiar one. Ada, please have mercy on your mother. She has already lost a child. Do you want her to lose another one? Adora does not think about anything. She, she just wants me to lose all. That means you've condemned me to death already? Well, that's exactly what you're doing. Taking a chance on your life. Mom, please hold on. Just hold on. Sis, what is happening? Why are you suddenly paying deaf ears to everybody? Not even the tears of our mom here could make you change your stand on this. Or have you not seen dad of late? Would you rather he dies before you realize he's going down? Ada, he's going down and he's dying. Ada doesn't want to know. She just wants to cause us more pain. Mom, you're beginning to scare me and it's not good for my condition. Adora, your condition is weighing me down. For God's sake, try as much as possible not to be selfish for once. You are the one who's being selfish, mother. Not wanting to understand my stand. What's your stand? Death? Adora, ectopic pregnancy is a major cause of maternal mortality the world over. Don't you understand? My stand is that I have a father. He's pathetic and hypertensive. He doesn't want to hear anything about an abortion. Now, Mother, I have caused him so much pain and I am not willing to cause him any more pain. You're insane. I agree. Excuse me. Oh, 
And watch that girl turn you into a widower. Mom, I'm, I'm dazed. I don't know what to say. Be a man and handle the situation maturely. Hey. He will never allow that. Let us just leave him out of it. He will never agree and that will give Adora some fiber with her stubbornness. Oh, Mom, I don't think so. I mean, that could be reasonable at times. Your father reasons from the point of view of the doctrines. He will never agree. Come on, Mom. Let's not wish we had brought him into this. Dixon, he is my husband. I lived with him for 12 years before he became your father. So I know what I'm talking about. Let's just forget your father in this matter and pray that Adora understands us. Who are you praying understands you? Uh, I mean, you're still up. You, you should be sleeping. You know, you're on drugs. Yeah, you know? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Whose understanding are you praying for? Well, well it's actually Joel. Mm. I, I was of the opinion that um, since Adora's condition has become more delicate, that he should allow her to come home so that I'll be able to watch her closely. Why does she require that kind of close observation? So, you know, considering the, the, the regular bouts of um, premature contractions, one wouldn't know what to expect next. Is she in any kind of trouble? Ah, no. That, yes. Good. Actually, uh, what is yeah, it? yes, actually, um, she's she's still having some some she's still experiencing some contractions, and the doctor. Uh, Honey, please, uh, just calm down and listen to me first. I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening to you. Go on. You are... Well, the doctor advised that in the event the contractions persist, that she should have a DNC. Father, you said your children shall be the head and never be the tail. Lord, you said that gather the most gather, but as long as their gathering is not in your name, they shall surely fall. Heavenly Father, I come before you. Lord, I commit my pregnancy into your hand. Father, you said that children are a reward from you. Heavenly Father, this child is going to be a reward from you to me in Jesus' name. Father, when everybody thinks that it is finished, Lord, that's when your miracles begin to show up. Father, you said we should knock and the door shall be opened. Father, you said we should seek and we shall find. Lord, you said we should ask and it shall be given. Heavenly Father, I'm committing this child to your hands. Father, let your miracles begin to show. Father, let your miracles begin to show. Father, you said that faith can move mountains. Father, I have faith that I'm going to be okay. Lord, I have faith that I'm going to be fine. Father, I have faith that death is not my portion. King of glory, come to my aid. Heavenly Father, come to my aid. Father, let them stand still and see your miracles. Father, because you said before you there is no God and after you there will be no other. King of glory, come and show your dominance in Jesus' name. Father, you said that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall never pass away. Father, you said
said your words are here and amen but i come and make your words here and amen in my life in jesus name father i commit this pregnancy into your hands father come and take preeminence control father you said you had the heart of kings in your hand and you turn it whichever way you want to turn it king of glory i put this child before your footstool father come and take absolute control in jesus name heavenly father i shall live to testify of your goodness i shall live to testify you coming to bed? I'm coming. You're worried about what they say that I'm going to die? I don't know, nobody is scared of that. Nobody is saying you're going to die. Okay, we're just concerned about your well-being. And I know you know that I love you very much. You have nothing to fear. I have nothing to fear. You have to believe in God and trust my faith. I am dying inside. I'm dying inside. Nothing is going to happen. Are you saying you're not bothered that a child is growing outside your womb? My love, you are my strength. You have to trust God. Just like I do. What, what are you trying to do? You're trying to lose your life so that you can save that of the unborn child? Is that what you're trying to do? <sighs> Nothing is going to happen to me. That's all I know. Come on, let's go to bed. I'm tired. Let's go. You take me. Joel. Joel. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our prayers in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. O ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing. Only for God's sake, who would be disturbing our prayer? Good morning, darling. Good morning. Who's that? Okay. Oh, he's Joel. Doesn't he pray in the morning? Let me call him back. All right. Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. 
Let's go to that house. No. I will not die. Yeah, I, I will not die. I know, but my strength are your bills. Hello. Mom. Is everything okay? Not, it's not okay. Ada is here. She's, she, she's in pain. Oh my god. Where are you now? We are home. We're trying to go to the hospital. Okay, okay. Just go. I'll meet you all. Alright, bye bye. What's the problem? Ada is having yet another bout of contractions. Not again. Can the doctor put a stop to this problem? A permanent solution to this problem? Permanent solution? Yes! Honey, why are you talking as if you don't know that the only permanent solution to this problem is a DNC? Does she have an option? I beg your pardon? Let her do the DNC and save her life! Are you serious? Listen to me. My daughter's life is at stake. Let him procure the DNC for God's sake and save this girl's life. Darling. Having a DNC is terminating the pregnancy. Okay. Would you prefer that she keeps the pregnancy and dies? Would you? Listen to me, Edna. Go to the hospital and get that daughter to do the DNC and save my daughter's life. If you will not go there, get somebody to take me there. You heard me. I will. Yes, madam, calm down. Uh, Mr. Jewel. Uh, the situation is that she has experienced a rupture of her fallopian tube going into the ectopic pregnancy. And the only option available at our disposal right now is to wheel her into the theatre and conduct a laparotomy on her. That will help us uh, try to repair the organs, try to save her and save the baby as well. Uh, doctor, please come and attend to her, please. Yes, as, as the, the theatre is being set for that, uh, it's just that uh, the consultant gynecologist who is going to lead in the surgery is not here, here yet. The last time we spoke, he said he was 10 minutes away. So as soon as he gets here, we will... Uh, uh, just tell them to hurry up, please, doctor. Doctor, is she going to make it? Well, well Mr. Joel, I believe in God. I, I, I think you two should... Uh... Okay, okay, the consultant is here. Madam, please, I understand. Okay. Doctor, please, 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 please. Thank you, please. Joel, come and sit down, my son, oh? Ah, you 
Joseph is calling me again. Uh, what are we going to tell him now? What more can I say? Uh, just hold on. Hello, Joseph. Yes, she's fine. She's okay. J Joseph, I, I guess I have to call you back. <sighs> Doctor, 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 how is she? Madam, she's... Uh, uh, how was the surgery? The surgery has been concluded and we have a cause to thank God. Madam, Mr. Joel, uh, we were able to rescue the baby. We put him in the incubator. And your daughter, your wife, she's okay. Hey, hey! Um, what not now, not now. You know she lost a lot of blood and... Uh, she... But she will be okay? Yes, we had, we induced her to sleep so that the recovery could be quicker. But you don't have anything to fear. So she will be fine. And I ask, am I all alone? Am I all alone? Can somebody out there hear me cry? Someone please lend a helping lend a helping hand. On my own. 